Hello, welcome to the video. And today I'm going to be talking about another one of these Lumicode boards. Now, Copper Dragon, the creator of the board, has sent me a VIC 20 version. That's right, this is going to work in the same way as the C128 version did. Now, what we're going to do is um, just literally take the VIC out, put this in its place, and then pop the VIC in on top. Now, if you've got a cost reduced VIC, there could be a little bit of an issue there because most of the chips are usually soldered in, um, as I found with mine. And I've got two VIC 20s. I've got a cost reduced and the, the older um, full VIC, as I call it, that takes the two pin nine volt mega brick, um, which I don't actually have. So this poor Franken machine is going to get beasted. Um, so the VIC video consists of composite or as I keep calling it composite shit because it's it's not very good um, the RF is also generated from that signal so that is your option for a VIC-20 there's no S video um, that is it that is the best quality video you can get out of it composite shit so this board here um, this should give us crystal clear HDMI which should be well Put it this way everyone thought that rgb was the best you could get then you got a component and the one step up from component is this so yeah we're going to do that so let's um let's show you my vic that's uh yeah this is going to surprise a few people i think so this vic here is seen better days um i've only got two vic 20s um this one is yeah it's, it's yeah <laughs> It's resurrected, it does work, or it did the last time I powered it on. It's going to call me a liar, though, I, I should expect. And, uh, yeah, so let's have a look inside. Look at that. Right. So the last time I went in there, I, I did heat sink the Vic. Um, yeah, the other two main chips and CPU are all socketed, so... This is a nicer machine. The only problem is the power is having that ridiculous uh, connector. So I made an even more ridiculous barrel connector for it. So yeah, because it goes for a rectifier, you can run this from 12 volts DC and it'll be fine. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop the Vic, put this in its place and fire it up. Now, I've received this and it comes, or mine came, with... Uh, prefixed cables here but also cables that you can remove here and a connector so yeah and that's probably because in the Vic version there's no modulator to uh, hijack whereas normally you could just sever the wires for the RCA in, in the end of your modulator solder straight to them and BAM you've got an instant Lumicode connection now one of the things I forgot to mention on the last video was Lumicode has got something it's got a really nice side effect in that if you do plug it into a composite signal, um, you will still get a picture. It may only be black and white, and it may not be perfect, but it will give you a picture. So at least you can see with a relatively simple connection that it still works. So yeah, let's get this uh, let's get this rock and roll in. So I'm going to pull this apart, rip this chip out, and uh, get it set up to power up. So see you shortly. Okay, so here we've got this Frankenstein lash up. So I've got my U64 power supply, uh, 12 volt DC, uh, powering this. I've just got the Luma code here going round into my RGB to HDMI here. Um, yeah, I've got no keyboard connected. And that's probably for the best because it doesn't look too good. So uh, yeah, here we go. Now... I don't know if you can appreciate what you're seeing there or how well it's going to come out, but holy fucking shit, that's good. I mean, that's crystal clear. Check this out. Look at that. That is absolutely phenomenal. Just like the 128, he's absolutely smashed it out of the park. That is the best quality picture next to an emulator. 
it's just brilliant. Look at this. Now I've had to use uh, a beta version of RGB to HDMI um, just so that it's got the profiles in. So yeah, that is just superb. Really good. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to power this off because I'm holding my camera and uh, I'm going to start up with um, the Bare Bonds superb cartridge and uh, we're going to plug that piece of shit keyboard back in and um, yeah, let's have a look at some games. Okay, so the sorry keyboard's back in. Unfortunately, the sorry keyboard doesn't actually do a lot. Um, yeah, but anyway... I fired it up with a bare bonds in. Check this out. Look at that. Let's have a look at that. That is just absolutely superb. I don't know how well it's going to come out as I'm recording it, but in real life, it is it is really good. Let's um let's hold it and just flip flip that on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's have a look here. Try and remember which ones have got some fairly funky graphics. Um, Robot Panic, Robotron. Oh, it would have to be. Look at that. Look at that. Crystal clear. Now, if I press the keyboard. No, nope. that button is not working. <laughs> so look at that. The colour is perfect. Absolutely perfect. There's just no, no two ways around it. That is, yeah. Like I said, he's, he's absolutely smashed it again. This is, yeah. You're not going to get any better. You just can't. HDMI, perfect quality. It's, this is literally the best you're going to get. Bit of Jeff Minter. Everyone likes a bit of Jeff Minter. Superb. Let's have a look. I do like this cartridge as well. This is one of the best uh, Vic cartridges you can get for, for this price. There we go. I should note that this, this um, Vic, 20, Vic 20 version is only available for PAL. Um, Copper Dragon hasn't managed to get an NTSC version yet because he hasn't got an NTSC uh, version of the Vic. So, yeah. Look at that. Trying to record this and play one-handed. Right. Dum, dum, dum. So, Lancelot, Stark. Okay, Star Trek. This is this is just incredible, really is. Um, this this is. I mean, this says it all. Graphics are crystal clear. You've you've also got the RGB to HDMI features. I think uh, the missing scan lines for. Oh, I've just pressed reset on it. Give it a second, it will come back up. I think they're missing scan lines from the 1 to 8 version. Um, I think that's been rectified in the beta firmware. But, let's have a look. Settings menu. Oh, no, that ain't that one. Preferences, scan lines. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. It doesn't really do anything, so... 
I guess it hasn't been fixed, but it will be. Like I said, this is a beta version, so you can see I'm on the VIC-20 Lumicode profile now. So, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. So this is only a short video. i just like to show this off. I have got another board from Copper Dragon for the Atari, um, for, for the Atari 8-bit, rather. That's going to be really interesting because, obviously, that can do 256 colours. So, yeah, this, absolute super win. Um, you know it. Um, as always, check out my compadres in a uh, little YouTube repairers group. Uh, details will be in the description. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.